Welcome back to the channel. This is Nicholas from Morales. And in this tutorial, we're going to consider how we can work with objects in Morales. Now, everything that is stored inside a table in the database can be considered a Morales object, even a user. A uh, user, if we go to the documentation, is also uh, a Morales object. So it, it uh, inherits from the Morales object. And to work with uh, objects, uh, you can um, define them using a Morales object extend, and then you give it a name, which is the name here that it will receive in the database. So for example, now we only have role, session, user, and ETH address. And uh, let's say that we want another uh, type of um, object or table that we want to work with, and we want to define it uh, in code. So to do that, we can um, check here, we can take this um, uh, syntax and we can go to our um, code here. And this uh, project that I have here is just a minimalistic uh, Morales uh, project. It just contains uh, a button that says login with MetaMask and it uh, lets us log in with MetaMask and we can also log out, but this is it. This is it. So let's now create a new um, function here that maybe we can call define new um, object, for example, or test. And this is an async function um, that will, um, um, here we, we paste our object. So let's say that we are making a game and that we want to define maybe some creatures. Maybe we want to define a monster. So maybe we call this monster uh, creature or something. Creature, like this. And then in the database, we want it to be stored as a monster, like this. And then this is just the definition of what we want it to be called in the database, basically. So now we can get an instance of this, we can get one monster, a unique one, and then we do const maybe monster with a lowercase m equals new monster creature. And this is it. Now we have a monster to work with. N nothing of this is saved in the database. So if we re reload the database, we won't have any monsters, hopefully. <laughs> and um, to work with this one now, we can do monster dot set. And now we can set some values to this uh, specific monster. For example, it can have some uh, health. Maybe it has uh, 85 in health. Maybe it has some uh, strength. Monster dot set um, strength will be maybe 15. And uh, then maybe we want to save this now to the database. And to do that, we do await uh, monster dot save like this. And this will now, behind the scenes, if the table monster does not exist, it will create it. And then it will populate it with this one monster. And uh, it will have the columns health and strength, because that's what we um, defined, and it will give it the values of 85 and 15. So let's try this out now. So if we um, just copy the name of this uh, function, and we reload our um, front end here, and then we do await and then paste the name of our function and we call it. And then we go to our database and reload. And now we have a monster table and it contains uh, among some default things. It contains our strength and our health columns. And this unique monster now has some strength and some health. Very good. So let's say that we want to load this monster whenever um, the user loads the application. How can we do that? We can do that by using a query and queries are specified how you can use them here. And also uh, we have a lot of information uh, in the documentation on how to extend these um, Morales objects, how to set the different values and so on. And um, so let, let's make a query so that whenever um, the user loads, it can get the first monster from, from the database. So we do that by making a function uh, called uh, get uh, first uh, monster, for example. And this is an 
async function that will return a monster. So we it, we define a query. So const query equals a new moralis dot query, and it will get uh, an object from what table? Well, the monster table. And then we take the first uh, monster. So we do const uh, monster equals um, uh, query dot first. So this will only get one. And then we can return this return monster. So if we do this up here, so we can say uh, const monster up here, we can choose whatever name of our monster we want. And then we do await and get first monster. And then maybe we can log this console.log uh, our monster here. So now when we load, it will retrieve it from the database for us. And here is our monster. So if we open this up, it says that this is in fact a monster. And if we go to the attributes, it contains the health and strength for this specific one that is uh, stored in the database. So this is very nice. It's very easy to, to work with uh, the backend this way. So let's say that we want some functionality to this um, monster. Let's say that we want it to, make ma to maybe make a sound. So let's uh, say that uh, all monsters should have some common um, functionality. Maybe they want to make some noise. And in that way, when we are um, retrieving, getting our monster, we can add some functionality to uh, each monster. So to do that, we can take this definition of what is a monster. And um, remember, this will only create a new table if it already, if it doesn't exist already. So maybe we can say monster creature. This is the definition. And uh, it's uh, a part of the monster uh, class, it's uh, or object. And inside here, we can make an object and this will be uh, uh, common for all monsters. So let's say that we have a function on our mo all monsters that say, um, uh, maybe make noise. And then this is a function uh, that will um, uh, just uh, alert, um, maybe roar. Okay, so this uh, is now a function that will be available for all monsters. But, uh, and instead of querying um, the name of the table, we can query an object because the, the name of the table is specified up here. So if we now do this, so we query this type of object instead and we save. And uh, then up here, we can do monster dot make noise and we get some intelligence for it as well. So we do this and now when we load and we do this, then it says roar because this is a, um, a function that exists on all monsters. And uh, let's say that we want to have some specific information about this monster. So maybe we make a new function that says uh, get health. And this is a function and uh, it will return um, this dot get, and it will get the information uh, on some of the uh, fields that we have on it. So for example, the health, and then we just do this. And then maybe we can console log this before it says roar. So we do uh, monster dot um, uh, get, uh, uh, we can do console log uh, monster dot get health like this. So let's see what we have in our console now. It says 85. So in this way, you can get, uh, you can write um, functions that will exist on all monsters, and it can get um, the values from each unique one that we have loaded. And so this is a really powerful way you can work with uh, Morales objects. So I hope you found it useful. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and see you guys in another video.